Rugby Guyana and Trinidad lock horns on the rugby field in a match that both teams will be looking to win as qualifying in the NACRA 15s tournament continues. Guyana beat Barbados 19-17 at the Providence Stadium just about 12 days ago to keep their chances alive in the qualifying stages. Guyana's captain Ryan Gonzalez, speaking at their last practice game in the National Park, said the team will be going all out and will not allow anything to chance. Well, basically, um, we know we know we will be up against in Trinidad, but um, nevertheless, we got our game planned. Um, most obviously, we won't be starting as cold as we did against Barbados, but um, you know, um, the task will be tough. Playing Trinidad home is like if you're playing Guyana home. Right, is they're gonna bring the game to us. It's about us to adapt ourselves and um, make good uses of every opportunity that we create because it's 15s and uh, it's gonna be physical. Um, we're physically prepared mentally, right? Uh, the guys are very, very much um, like I would say, uh, can't wait to play on Saturday. Uh, we've been game hungry, so um, in Trinidad, we're gonna be taking the game to them. We're not gonna be sitting on our back foot like we did against Barbados in the first half. Uh, we got our plans, our game plans, and um, we just have to execute the game and um, play to the best of our ability. Teams need to win to advance to round three, where the USA South team awaits them. Coach Theodore Henry was also cautious but confident that the team will do well. Yeah, well, the team is, um, I would say, satisfactory, um, prepared. Um, just one major concern is that, you know, I hope that the mindset into the game, we you know, we come alive really early because I think if we could put Trinidad on the back foot relatively early, you know, we could take the life out of the game. Well, one of the things we're going to be doing differently is um, we're going to try to stay away from the macho business with them, you know, because I think they're going to be similar in stature with Barbados in terms of the phys physical attributes. So one of the things we're going to try to do is play the open game relatively early rather than wait till the second half to start though. Should Guyana beat Trinidad and advance to the match against USA South, that match will be played in Guyana at a date to be decided. Capital News' Isan Griffith is expected to catch the action live from the Twin Island Republic tomorrow. In cricket, the Dwayne Bravo led West Indies side will take on Australia in a day night warm up match tomorrow in Cardiff, Wales, ahead of the start of the 2013 Champions Trophy in England, which is set to run from June 5th. The West Indies will be looking to repeat their heroics of 2004 when they hoisted the Winners' Trophy for the first and only time. Coach Otis Gibson has said that the West Indies side, which includes IPL stars Bravo, Gale, Pollard and Sonny Ryan, will not start as favourites. Rather, that tag goes to the host, England. The West Indies are drawn in the group with India, and South Africa and Pakistan. And with that, we've come to the end of our Diamond Minerals Sports Roundup for Friday. I'm Raul Collins.